Get ready to unlock the secrets of success as we dive into the fascinating world of neuroscience with none other than Dr. Andrew Huberman, a renowned neuroscientist and tenured professor at the prestigious Stanford University School of Medicine. Are you ready to discover the power of billion-dollar habits that can transform every aspect of your life, from your personal relationships to your business ventures and even your overall health? Dr. Huberman has dedicated his life to studying the inner workings of the brain and understanding how we can optimize our habits for maximum success. In this captivating journey, we'll explore groundbreaking insights and practical strategies to help you reach your full potential. With Dr. Huberman's expert guidance, you'll learn how to rewire your brain, reframe your mindset, and develop habits that can skyrocket your success in all areas of life. So, if you're ready to embark on a transformative journey and uncover the billion-dollar habits that can shape your destiny, hit that subscribe button and join our community of like-minded individuals. Don't miss out on the opportunity to revolutionize your life and achieve extraordinary results. Welcome to the extraordinary world of Dr. Andrew Huberman's Billion Dollar Habits. Let's start by understanding the three steps to forming a habit. Step 1. Decide what you want to achieve. Start by setting clear goals for yourself. Think about what you want to accomplish or improve in your life. Step 2. Develop a systematic approach. Create a step-by-step -step plan that will help you use habits effectively to reach your goals. Break down your actions into small, manageable tasks that you can repeat consistently. Step 3. Train yourself consistently with random rewards. Train yourself to perform these habits regularly, but don't expect a reward every time. Instead, reward yourself randomly to keep yourself motivated and engaged. Think of habits as software for your brain. Once you repeat certain actions over and over again, they become automatic and effortless. Your brain forms new pathways that make these actions your default settings. For example, athletes develop muscle memory through practice so they can perform without having to think during a game. In business, consistency of execution becomes automatic, leading to success. To avoid failure with habits, it's important to start small and gradually increase your efforts. Setting an unsustainable pace or trying to do too much too soon can lead to disappointment. Forming a habit that will help you achieve your goals requires identifying the daily actions you need to take and incorporating them into a systematic process for long-term success. Remember, the key to success in any area of life is consistency. It doesn't matter if you're aiming to be a billionaire or an athlete. The principles remain the same. It's also important to diversify your habits across different areas of your life, such as exercise, wealth, inner peace, relationships, and nutrition. Now, let's explore the three types of habits. Keystone habits. Keystone habits are really important because they have a big impact on our lives. Think of them as a special stone that holds an arch together. Just like that, keystone habits can shape the way we live and determine our success or failure. We all have habits, some good and some bad, and they affect how we live our lives. If you look closely at someone who consistently succeeds and someone who constantly fails, you'll find that they have a keystone habit that plays a major role. So it makes sense to have keystone habits that lead to success, right? The idea is to develop a habit that creates positive changes in our lives and even inspires other good habits. Developing a keystone habit is a mix of it happening naturally over time and intentionally cultivating it. Sometimes habits become a part of who we are without us even realizing it. But we can also deliberately create habits. If we want to achieve a specific result, we repeat actions that bring us closer to that result until they become habits. To identify your keystone habit, think about which of your habits result in small wins for you. It could be something simple like watching your calories, taking a 30-minute walk every day, making a to-do list, or setting goals as soon as you wake up. Once you've found your keystone habit, make a conscious effort to repeat it consistently. This will strengthen the habit and its positive effects in your life. Now, how do you know which habits are keystone habits for you? Well, you know yourself best. Think about the causes of your successes, whether big or small. Which actions or behaviors have contributed to those achievements? That is likely your keystone habit. If you want to develop a new keystone habit to improve your life, you can do it. It just requires some adjustments to your routine. 
you'll need to change your current behaviors, get rid of any bad keystone habits, and slowly incorporate the positive habit into your daily activities. After a few months of repetition, it will become second nature to you. Linear Habits Consistency is really important in any industry. It means doing things regularly and sticking to a routine. Linear habits help us achieve that consistency by providing structure and organization. For example, let's say you're working on a project. You can use linear habits to set specific work hours, create a timeline to follow, or make a to-do list for each day. These habits give you a solid foundation for being productive and efficient. Here's a personal experience to help you understand. Imagine you're a content creator like a writer. By establishing a structured writing routine, you can meet deadlines and consistently produce high-quality work. You allocate dedicated time for different stages of the writing process, like research, drafting, and editing. This helps you optimize your creativity and produce better outcomes. By following a linear habit of sticking to your writing routine, you can consistently create content and meet your goals. So, whether it's in writing, project management, or any other industry, using linear habits helps you stay consistent, be productive, and achieve better results. They provide the structure and routine needed to make progress consistently and succeed in your work. Non-linear habits. In today's business world, things are always changing, so it's important to be innovative and adaptable. Non-linear habits help us think creatively and come up with new ideas. For example, let's imagine you work in a fast-paced industry. Non-linear habits can fuel your creativity by encouraging you to think outside the box. You can allocate time for self-reflection, which means taking a step back to think about your work and how you can improve. You can also explore ideas and concepts that are different from what you usually encounter in your field. Another important aspect of non-linear habits is embracing failure as a learning opportunity. It means being open to making mistakes and using them as chances to learn and grow. This mindset allows you to take calculated risks and try new things, which can lead to fresh perspectives and innovative solutions. In my own experience, I discovered that by incorporating these non-linear habits into my work, I was able to bring unique insights and innovative approaches to my industry. Taking time for self-reflection helped me understand my strengths and weaknesses and find new ways to improve. Exploring ideas outside my field inspired me with fresh perspectives, and embracing failure as a learning opportunity gave me the courage to take risks and come up with creative solutions. So, in today's ever-changing business world, non-linear habits are crucial. They fuel our creativity, help us think differently, and allow us to adapt to new challenges. By embracing diverse learning, reflecting on our work, and being open to taking calculated risks, we can unlock innovation and bring fresh ideas to our industries. When we find a balance between two types of habits, something amazing happens. It's like a magical combination that boosts our productivity and helps us grow personally. First, we have linear habits. These habits give us structure and organization. They're like a clear plan or framework that keeps us focused on our goals. They provide a solid foundation for getting things done and staying on track. Then, we have non-linear habits. These habits bring flexibility and creativity into our lives. They let us think outside the box and adapt to different situations. They're like the freedom to explore new ideas and approaches. Nonlinear habits help us be adaptable, creative, and resilient. When we blend these two types of habits together, it's like mixing two superpowers. We create a dynamic way of doing things that makes us super productive and helps us grow as individuals. Imagine having a routine that guides your work, like setting specific work hours or making a timeline for projects. This gives you structure and helps you stay disciplined. But within that structure, you also have the freedom to explore new ideas, be creative, and handle unexpected situations. It's like having the best of both worlds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content I send your way.